during games, but you have when you're outside off the field, you got to be able to learn from mistakes. So it's it's more of a in game, out of game mentality. Do you just have to get game experience and learn to have a big play happen on you. Uh, no, <laughs> I, I hope I hope they don't have to learn from big plays happening. On I hope that they've learned from big plays happening to me, big plays right. happening to Lee Butler, to you know Walt, to Matt, to a bunch of different guys on the team that have been good players for us, but still have had big plays called on them. Anthony, you, when you talk to those receivers, what's your, your thoughts on some of the young guys that stands out to you? With Sean, well, there's sometimes you bring in plays that look you know, like some. You know, personally, I mean, my favorite receiver, reading, right? he was probably one of the ball. toughest guys to guard in all the ACC. Sean, Sean got some uh, he is, he's, 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 he's probably one of the best receivers in the ACC, if not the best receiver in the ACC. I, I was going to ask, would you be... To so compliment him, we have... Reading? A guy named Johnnell Barnes, a true freshman coming in, very quick off the line, similar to Jameson in his playing style. Um, we got Maxim Caffrey, uh, who's a true freshman last year. He's going to play a big role for us this year. A, 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 a bigger receiver that can go downfield on you. Um, and then we got guys like Anthony Nash and TJ, who are um, who are faster, also bigger receivers. With well, the addition of those big guys, that like. Blakeney, who was tight end, oh, yeah. and then Eric Snyder, I don't know how involved he is in the passing game aspect. Those are big guys. So, so from those a are the guys defensive really back really perspective, really how challenging is that? Really how much of an advantage can that give you guys? It's very challenging because you have to play a little bit different style. Um, when you go against, when you go up against a guy like Isaac, uh, he's probably like 6'6", 230. You know, that's, that's a big receiver. You don't see that very often. So you have to change. You have to use your strengths against his weaknesses. And against bigger receivers, generally they're not as quick as the smaller guys. And if you're a 6 feet, 5'10", uh, playing corner, you should be quicker than a 6'6". Six, six